Hello, this is Wade Harvey. Today we'll be looking at uh, what is Oracle. Uh, you can learn more about this by going to idealprogrammer.com where you can find over 700 programming training videos. We're going to cover five uh, topics. Historical background of Oracle. And then we'll look at the major components of Oracle. We'll look at the versions of Oracle. And then the additions. And then we'll close up with the client side utilities. Okay, what is Oracle? Uh, back in 1977, uh, Larry Ellison and a couple of his buddies, uh, Bob uh, Miner and Ed Oates, uh, began, began a company called Software Development Laboratories. And they developed the original DBMS, that's their claim to fame, and uh, they created a, a product. Uh, they named it to Oracle after a, a, a code uh, name project that they'd worked on for another company. And then in 1984, it became officially known as Oracle Corporation. Okay, the major uh, components of an Oracle database are uh, the uh, Oracle's typically set up in a Unix environment, and uh, the two major components are the database and the instance. Okay, the database uh, contains uh, your database, DBF, uh, that's your database, log files uh, that track what you, uh, the activity to the file during the day, the database, redo, uh, dot redo files with that extension, they allow you to un undo mistakes that are happen in your control file, which is kind of like your any file and other applications. Then there's an index associated with that. Then the instance part of it can, uh, uh, consists of a system global area and then a number of processes that uh, uh, are used. And um, we have the server processes, uh, the uh, process monitor, the system monitor, the database writer, and, uh, the uh, log writer, and then the checkpoint. Uh, so uh, um, these are connected to your user application, which uh, is it on the remote machine. Okay, the uh, process monitor uh, cleans up a, a after processes have completed and so forth. The system monitor uh, helps you re uh, restore in case if there's a system failure. The database writer writes. Uh, Everything happens in RAM because this is much faster. The database writer writes uh, the database uh, files and the log writer writes to the uh, log files. And the checkpoint uh, establishes uh, commit uh, points throughout the uh, processes. There have been many versions uh, since 1979 I won't go through them all, but uh, we can go down to the more current ones. Uh, Oracle uh, 8i was in uh, 1999. Uh, incorporated the native uh, Java virtual machine. Then Oracle 9i was in 2001. Uh, and this included XML and real application clusters. 2003 we got to 10G which included, uh, focused on grid, uh, grids for displaying data easily. And then uh, Oracle, uh, in 2007, we went to Oracle 11G. Okay, let's look at the additions of Oracle. We have the standard edition, which is uh, licensed by uh, users or processors, and you can have one to four CPUs in this runs you about 15 grand. Uh, Enterprise Editions, uh, which has increased uh, performance and security, and that's uh, 40 grand per c CPU. And then the Standard Edition uh, 1 is a scaled down uh, version of the Standard Edition. It allows you to uh, 
just pay 5000 per CPU or uh, 149 per user I think there's a minimum of uh, five users Express Edition uh, is uh, this is free and uh, it, uh, you can have a max of four gig uh, of user data and uh, only use a single CPU and it requires 150 meg to load Oracle Personal Edition has the same functionality as the Enterprise Edition, but is licensed to a single uh, user developers. It's free. And then uh, Oracle Database Lite, and this is for developing for mobile uh, devices. Then there's some client uh, side utilities. There's SQL uh, Plus uh, for creating command line SQL or queries and executing. Uh, PL SQL procedural programs. Then you have the Oracle Developer Suite uh, for developing database applications uh, and that includes uh, these three tools. The Forms Builder which allows you to build forms uh, for your applications, Report Builder and the Enterprise Manager. And this is for performing, this is like the SQL Server 2005 Enterprise Manager that allows you to do administrative tasks such as creating new user accounts and configuring the DBMS, uh, how it stores and manages your data.